the final race to escape continues. A helicopter has arrived and is waiting to take the winners back to civilization. One thing's for sure, there's only room for one escaping team, not two. Sting hold the precious time advantage. They're in pole position to win. However, Claw are snapping at their heels. It could all hinge on one dramatic moment where drains can be made or lost. Nobody knows who'll escape, not even the island. Escape from Scorpion Island, the island with the sting in its tail. I'm Marlene. And I'm Johnny. You join us on the final day of the final race to escape. Both Team Sting and Team Claw are in it to win it, but they've got to pull out all the stops to get on top of that cliff face. One thing's for certain, there's only room for one escaping team in that helicopter. Ten brave adventurers have represented the island powers. Strength. Balance. Speed. Bravery. And stamina. And all ten have drawn on every last ounce of these powers just to keep pace with their rivals and this devious island. Skydiving in from 4,000 metres high was just the start. In their adrenaline fuel journey, the legendary team Sting and Team Claw have gone head-to-head -head in intense trials and challenges. At the end of these momentous battles, Team Sting had won the most island challenges. Whilst Team Claw had won the most totem trials. Sting has built up to their last and toughest challenge and Sting's incredible winning streak rewarded them a massive 50-second head start at the beginning of the final race to escape. Claw, race to escape! And despite a valiant effort, Team Claw couldn't stop Sting rampaging through the strength, balance and stamina zones. Sting duly won the precious 30-second head start to take to the final climbs at Freedom Rock. totem trial prowess and the sight of their higher totem piece steps gave them a much needed psychological boost. Then it was time for their final climb. In the first head-to-head, -head, Angus and Abby had the tricky task of swinging out and untying the outer pincers. It was hard fought, but Abby overturned Angus's 30-second head start and bravely zoomed up to a convincing win for Claw. In the second one versus one, Shire and Brandon had to unthread the easier to reach inner pincers. It was incredibly close, but Shire's speed just gave her the edge. She overturned Brandon's head start and won for Sting. So the 30 second head start and winning momentum is with Sting. As we've already seen, anything is possible. And can be overturned. So, which team will fulfill their destiny and escape, and which will risk being turned to stone? This is the escape. This is speed and bravery. The teams are taking on the last obstacle to stand between them and getting off the island. The mighty Freedom Rock. It's the epic location for the final extraordinary races. In each race, one member of Sting is going head to head with one member of Claw. In the speed zone, the totem power pieces are finally coming into play, stacked up as steps to lead the adventurers onto the cliff face. As Claw won four more than Sting, their totem pieces get them further. 
further up, a really useful advantage. Then, in the bravery zone, the adventurers not only have to scale the rock, but also unthread parts of their giant team colour scorpions. Next, Maddie and Harriet will have the most straightforward job, removing the scorpions' bodies. Then, Janardin and Rachel have got the hardest mission, unwinding the zigzag ribbons which make up the scorpions' legs. And finally, Michael and Bronte have got the tough responsibility of taking the scorpions' tails away. The adventurer who crosses the finish line first wins a 30-second head start for their team member in the next race. But the losing adventurers can't stop climbing because the teams cannot escape until all of their members have reached the top. The first two races were thrilling stuff, and you just know that this final challenge is only going to get more competitive, more exciting, and become even more edge-of-the-seat viewing. It's Maddie, Sting's bravery power captain, and Harriet, Claw's strength power captain. But how are they feeling about taking on this amazing challenge? A little bit nervous, but I'm very determined and confident that I'm going to win the advantage. Really positive, I'm really confident about this. Well, they both sound upbeat, and they're in position at the base of Freedom Rock. Everything Harriet has put into Scorpion Island has been leading to this last climb. Cheeky Harriet was one of the youngest, but also one of the most flexible adventurers on the island. So lost for words. I just have a massive smile that I can't get off my face. In a remarkable show of vigour, she beat all comers in the strength battle for the powers. I've never really thought of myself as a strong person, so I'm not sure how I won that one. Although humble Harriet was made of very strong stuff and gave it her all in every challenge. Ready! I saw a kneel. <laughs> Harriet, kneel! Ew, ew, ew. If I had a message for Michael, it would be, watch out, you're going to be dunked. But she also took losing to heart. It was really hard, and I let my team down. A great team player, she offered her teammates incredible vocal support. Shia, run! Run for your life! Ours is bigger than yours now! And when Sting didn't think she stood a chance... Michael was doing much more better than Harriet. She's not exactly the best person when it comes to mental strength. Yeah, Michael can beat Harriet easy. Harriet proved she was a powerful force to be reckoned with time and time again. Much to the dismay of her rivals. Harriet did really well. I don't even know where that strength came from. But she, she's really, really strong. I've never, ever, ever thought of myself as a physically strong person. I just like feel like I've proven myself. But has she got the belief to beat Maddie in the impending climb? Maddie must now call on every experience, every emotion that she's had so far. Scorpion Island was always going to be life-changing for Maddie. It's my first time in a plane and I'm going to be jumping out of it. <laughs> this isn't going to be escape from Scorpion Island, it's going to be escape to Scorpion Island. And after her descent from the clouds, she was awarded bravery. Some things would make me scared, but I'm pretty brave. <laughs> Coming from a large family, well-travelled Maddie's goal was to fit into another sort of family altogether. Team Sting. I think Maddie is really quiet, but I think when she says something, everyone does listen to her. She likes games. She's quite a good team player. She does really well in the challenges and she's a great person to know. She soon became a popular and valued member and proved that beyond her gentle exterior, she could get tough and show plenty of focus in the island challenges. Watch out, Abby, because I'm going to win. It's getting so heavy! Maddie, keep the net up! I think I've done pretty good and we've set a pretty good score. You got all five pieces. Brave <laughs> Maddie's defining moment came as she chomps through four 
more scorpions. It's now on Made. She's got to do one more scorpion, and Team Sting will have the totem power piece. It's down. But will popular Made have the most defining moments of all and share victory with her treasured teammates? These two proud power captains are about to face the most vital one versus one battle of their lives. Harriet has the steely strength and the climbing ability, but is this one climb too high? Bravery Captain Maddie is not to be taken lightly. Her no-nonsense approach has served her well, but can she win when it matters most? We're about to find out. And remember, in this third race, Maddie and Harriet have got to remove their scorpion's bodies. Now bring it on. Maddie is ready. And she's off. And that's a wobbly start to up onto the totem pieces. But she needs to try to make the best use she can of the head start. Maddie's got up there already. She's at the ladder. But has she taken too long? This is the simplest climb in terms of the unthreading. So pace is really of the essence here. And of course, Claw had the advantage in the speed zone because they have more totem pieces. And so hit the cliff face further up. Here comes Harriet. Go, go! Can she catch up Maddie and get a 30 seconds advantage for the next round? Look at that, she's making light work of those totem power pieces. But as it stands, Maddie's way ahead. Oh, and she's looking back to see how Harriet's doing. She's just starting on the ladder. She's ready. Oh, Harriet's swinging wildly now. But impressively, she doesn't seem to be losing her footing or her grip on the ladder. Can she close the gap on Maddie? Oh, and she's already untied the bottom of Sting's scorpion's body. But now comes the long clamber to the top of their scorpion. Behold! leap for Maddie this. Guns. This is real strength power captain stuff. She's heaving herself up to the ring. And this is amazing. They're both trying to release the top of their team's scorpion's bodies now. This is so close. They're both clambering up there, it's about speed now. <laughs> Who's going to get to the top first? So close. And this is a terrific burst of speed from Claw's self-proclaimed ladder lover. Look at this, Harriet has taken the lead. But the final stretch is toughest of all. Could Maddie possibly have the strength to drag herself to victory? That's it, Harriet has done it, another comeback. I knew you could do it! Woo! And yes, Maddie's crossing the finish line, but this was close. I forgot about how high up I was. It was more just getting that ribbon untied. And yeah, it wears you out so much though. <laughs> We're like two centimetres away from each other, but I did overtake her at the end, so it just shows that you don't always need the advantage to win. It's so really hard to get up there and I'm still panting. Well, Harriet, it certainly looked exhausting, but it was an extraordinary race. 
Maddie had the time advantage, and though she didn't get off to the quickest start, she did maintain her lead on Harriet for a large part of the climb. She showed real bravery in making the swings to the rings, but a couple of slips and a moment of confusion were enough to allow Harriet to catch her up and ultimately knock her into a close second place. Harriet gave a really strong performance, not letting a few crashes and stumbles affect her steady pace and keeping unbelievably focused. But in the end, it was her much-vaunted knack for competing on ladders that seemed to give her the vital strength to power past Maddie on the final stretch of the climb, snatching the win. An outstanding effort. Time for the next race. It's Stamina Power Captain Rachel versus Balance Power Captain Janarden. And thanks to Harriet, Claw had the head start. <laughs> that the adventurers are being pushed to their absolute limits and that the lead keeps changing hands. It's going to be absolutely great and I'm so thankful to Harriet for getting me the advantage and I believe with that help I can possibly do it. I'm so nervous. The nerves are just kicking in. I don't know, I'm just going to be a bit more quiet and just work through it. must now be channeled into this final climb. Janardin arrived in Scorpion's deep jungle, brimming with confidence and raring to challenge the island. See you in the drop zone. If I have one thing to say to Scorpion Island, it would be get ready for me because I can't wait to do your challenges. So I hope they're a lot tougher than usual. He superbly won the right to represent Balance in the battle for the powers. Balance, I'd, I'd probably give myself a nine or, or a nine and a half. Janardin had a clear head for the tactics. I'm gonna try and play the challenges to people's strengths. More power, Michael, Matty, keep pulling together. And the love of taunting the opposition. Janardin, honestly, tactics. I'm eager to just, you know, even the score. Looking for revenge, are you? You can say it like that. <laughs> I'm just defending my team. Um. With a terrific, strong sense of gameplay, Janardin gave Sting good play direction. That's right, that's how we do it. Push it in, push it in. Angus, should, even though he's on my team, I think he should take some slightly bigger steps. But as the captain, I think they should be listening to me because they're doing the complete wrong thing. I did it before, I know what I'm talking about. He excelled in putting clever tactics into action himself, delivering wins for Sting time and time again. Are you ready? Ready. Well, right, let's do it then. The challenge was just so amazing. I wish I could do it again and again and again. It was just the best. That was hard. Actually, I found it pretty easy. He's most definitely got enough tactical awareness and heart to unsettle Rachel in their final climb. Rachel must now take inspiration and spirit from her scorpion journey. <laughs> Rachel arrived on the island determined and buoyant. If things go completely wrong on Scorpion Island, I think I'll react by trying to calm things down and make people laugh and try and joke on and just make things a bit more cheerful. And not even jumping out of a plane from 4,000 metres was going to knock her unbreakable spirit. I've jumped good over the bosom, said I can't do it again. I just want to go back up. The island awarded Rachel with stamina. Rachel, congratulations. Give them a round of applause, guys. And she became the first power captain to lead Team Claw. It's really strange being a leader of a team, not just part of a team, because usually I'm not a leader, but I found that I'm, I'm not too bad at leading a group of people, and I quite enjoyed it. Fearless Rachel enjoyed competing against Sting in all the challenges. But, well, tell you though. I did absolutely everything I could do. There was no way I could have done any better. So I think for me, that went really well. But she was first to play peacemaker when competition spilled over. Oh. Stop being too competitive, you It's still going to be too nice to each other. And in camp was always on hand to offer caring support for her teammates. It's good to do massages because it makes you relax. Rachel finally learned to believe in herself and her newfound stamina. Quick, 
I didn't want to let our win the streak slip. To an extent from Scorpion Island first! I definitely think that the islands had our wish because it went up out the trees and it's gonna escape from Scorpion Island and the balloon itself, so I hope the island hears our wish. But will her wish come true? have one more battle to fight. Valen's power captain, Janarden, is in quiet contemplation, getting into the zone. He definitely has the desire and the ability to beat Rachel. Can he defeat Freedom Rock too? Rachel is fearless at climbing, but she's never faced anything as daunting as this rock face. She'll need all her stamina, as we've seen head starts whittled away already. Both power captains can win this climb, but which one of them will it be? And remember, in this fourth race, Janard and Rachel have got the toughest of all the unthreading missions. They've got to remove the zigzag ribbons which make up the scorpion's legs. And they'll be cheered on by the only adventurers yet to take on Freedom Rock, Michael and Bronte. Come on, Rachel. Well, she's ready. Come and on, she's off. And despite being one of the smallest Rachel. adventurers, she's launching herself over the totem pieces extremely quickly. Come on, Rachel! You're doing great! Jordan's taking a bit of a fall. He's struggling up there. He's got to try and catch Rachel up. He's carefully making yeah. his way across to the ring. Such great focus. Oh, that is a brave leap by Rachel. She's stretching right back to reach the ring and thread the knot through. <sighs> oh, oh no! Jordan, if you really try, you can catch her up. He's unknotted it. Now he can really start to put pressure on Rachel. Keep going, Jordan. She's wrestling with Claw's ribbon. And yes, she's done it. But now she's got a huge climb between her and the finish line. It's going to be so tough, and it could mean that Jordan will have the chance to catch her up. Doing so well. You really can do it. Well, he's always been Sting's master tactician, and it looks like he's got a brilliant new plan here. He's at the top of his scorpion's legs, and he's unknotting the end. Keep going, Jonathan. He seems to think he can pull the ribbon through in one go, and if he's correct, this could put him right back in with a great chance of winning. Yes, he's untied it, so can he pull it all through? Oh, no, it's stuck. No, don't get straight. You're doing really well. No, I have to go down. So while Janardin's going back down to loosen the ribbon, Rachel's oh, keeping Rachel. on climbing wow. and she's wow. nearly at the top now. But this is the hardest section of Freedom Rock.
And that's it, Rachel is home and dry. She's done it. Thank you, Rachel. Bronte must be so happy. Rachel's won her that crucial 30 seconds in the final race to escape. That was such impressive stuff from Rachel. And look at the margin she won by. Extraordinary. I'm officially 100% speechless. I can't even believe it. I just beat Janardin. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> well, Claw are jubilant, but there is still one more head-to-head -head race to go. I tried to sprint up to the top bit without losing the others first. I thought I could just drag it all through, but it was a bit knotted, so I had to go down and drag a bit more through. Well, Janardin, that was a tactical mistake, but with such a remarkable performance from Rachel, even if you had been able to thread your ribbon through in one go, there's still no guarantee you would have beaten her. Rachel used her head start well, launching herself up Claw's totem pieces at tremendous speed. She was slowed by the ladder, but showed terrific stamina, swinging across to untie the ribbon and hauling it all the way through. She did have trouble with the final section of the climb, but by that point, her lead was insurmountable. Janardin struggled from the start, taking a while to get over the totem pieces and clearly not finding the ladders easy to climb either. He did manage to balance his way out to the rings to untie the ribbon and he never gave up. But he had no chance of catching Rachel up here. Next time, the final escape has almost come to an end. In a matter of minutes, one team will be flying back to civilization in a helicopter, knowing that they have conquered Scorpion Island. Will it be Team Sting? Or will it be Team Claw? It all hinges on one last climb. Bronte versus Michael. Bronte has a slender head start, but if anyone can beat her, it's Michael. There's never been a tougher escape, and the island knows it. But what it doesn't know is who'll escape its clutches. So all that Scorpion stuff is on the next show, and don't forget you can catch all the action online now. You're not going to want to miss a moment of The Great Escape, so be sure to join us next time as one team will escape from Scorpion Island. Bye. Bye.